guys, what's up? So fresh from the set of Alcohol Free, from Twice we have Janessa. <laughs> Champagne and wine. Actually, for today, we're doing something a little different. We're jumping a little bit on trend. And we have here the very popular Andox Lechon Baka. What do you think about the Lechon Baka? Well, we haven't tasted it yet. Firstly, I wasn't sure how I was going to fit this into the branding of the channel and what we usually do. So, to make this fitting the zigging channel, what we're doing today, when we have good food, I love to pair it with good wine. If you're watching this from abroad and you don't know this, this is roasted calf. So, it's a whole roasted calf. It's a thing here in the Philippines. So, I think you'd like this. So, with this roasted calf, the theme today would be an asador. So, asador is the barbecue culture in South America and more specifically, Chile. So, today we have here some Chilean wine. This is Terra Noble, the Carminieri. From the Central Valley of Chile, I think this might be a good pairing for today for our Chilean asador themed lechon baba. I love how you integrated the two. I think it makes sense. Namali. By the way, um, this lechon baba is mm -hmm. new. It's new on their menu. It's new on their menu and also on selected branches. It was quite full, um, especially for the pandemic. It's a little hard to park. Um, Janessa gave me a list. And from Paranaque to Fairview, I saw that was on the way was in Litex Road, which is a little 10 15 minutes outside Fairview. So that's where I got this from, and yeah, it was a little detour. So, first for the visuals, what do you think? Well, it's been sitting out um, for a while because <laughs> we set it up so it's not as moist. But when I got this out of the box, it was actually kind of juicy. Mm -hmm. Kind of looks like yakiniku or sort of like a dried out Korean barbecue. And a little bit of pork asado for Chinese, you know, it's a little red. Some of the pieces are that thick and some of the pieces are much thinner. Let's do it Guga style. Cheers, everybody! <laughs> Cheers, Cheers, everybody! From the get go, what do you think about it? Very similar to their chicken and the empo or pork. No. Roast pork. Their signature flavor. Or yeah, it's the rub. same base. Yeah, same Maybe. base, marinade. Tastes like the liempo, but where this is better would be on the texture and then, you know, it, it's easily bite sized. So for me, I like it. it it would be how I imagine Chilean asador would taste like. Uh, would... Maybe because of the sweetness. The sweetness. marinade tastes kind of sweet. So So I've never been to Chile. Yeah. I hope to go someday. <laughs> We're just We're just talking out of our asses. <laughs> and so let's have one. Again. Yeah. Why not? There's a lot. I think because it's Lichon Baka, you wouldn't have a consistency of which parts that you're getting, which is fair because that's how Lichon goes. And I think that's fun. Some are a bit tender, some are a bit more grainy, and some are more... Fatty, malitid, cartilage yeah. yep. Cartilage-y. Here's one that's a bit fatty. It's focusing on your face. <laughs> when I said, here's the fatty one, it focused on my face. <laughs> How about we pair it with some wine? Mm. What's <laughs> this? With the wine already. Feels like chili. <laughs> I think we're doing chili proud. I'm not sure, but I think we might be. The first uh, flavor, there's a sweetness to it, yeah. like in the middle of the palette, mm -hmm. and then it turns kind of smoky, just Spicy? like this one. Yeah, so it pairs quite well. I mean, no joke, not only because that's what I had, and I ordered this Carminieri before I knew about the Lechon Baka. It's one of the better Carminieris that I've had. I'm not the biggest fan of Carminieri, I mean... Personally, why do you not like it as much? It's a little um, green. Like strong flavors of bell pepper, mm. like jalapeno. So roasted. It's very vegetal without the fruitiness of Merlot. And as a trivia, if you actually look up Carminieri on YouTube or anywhere, the first thing that you'll come across is that the Chileans actually thought that Carminieri was Merlot. For decades, they were planting it, thinking it was Merlot. Some French dude or some expert actually came in and noticed that it wasn't Merlot. 
and Carminieri would be a later harvest than Merlot. So, so I think for a long while they were frustrated that their Merlot was not as good. I think this was in the 80s, so I was already 25 then. <laughs> <laughs> I usually don't like my wines um, sweet when it first hits me, but I like this one. This one's, yeah, this one's quite good. <laughs> but yeah, can you notice that it could be misconstrued as a Merlot also? I mean, it's in the it's in the medium body. But it tastes reliable. I think this would be a good crowd pleaser, I think. You could serve this in new wine drinkers. An approachable red. Yep. It's a gateway red. For me, it's a gateway carmen area. You've tasted, I mean, you've had this before, but a different. Like a black spot. Yeah, the Gato Negro. Those wines that you have to drink in like one glass lang. Like, for, Never heard you know, of such like, thing. No, no, no. Like, <laughs> because you drink na lupayon parang. To get blind. <laughs> yes. So, how would you rate it? How would you rate the, the beef? I think me, I'll rate it a 7.5. 7.5. For Just the first it. time, I have yeah. a point something. <laughs> Learning decimal. <laughs> I would give this like an 8.3. It's quite good. And how about the wine? Probably an 7.7. Uh, 7. Yeah. That's, that's decent. Me, I'm just gonna go with 8.3 also. So <laughs> it's pretty, pretty convenient. But together, I would give this an 8.5 because they both elevate one another and I think that's what's great about when one and one come together, it becomes more special. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay. So Lovely. together, my rating for this would be... Uh, Lower. 7.8. <laughs> oh, wow. That's why I always like drinking. Well, by itself also, but drinking and eating because your meal gets elevated and it becomes more special. Special. You make me feel special. Society. Thanks for joining our Chilean themed pairing. Uh, we hope we've elevated it today from the set of twice. <laughs> twice. It's just the problem. I don't know how to dance. <laughs> Thanks for watching, guys. If you like this video, please don't forget to comment, like, and consider subscribing. And cheers. See you guys next time. Alcohol free in the Chile. <laughs>